So far, there has been a lot of information circulating from data miners, but there is something quite odd. Well, it is obvious that with the skill that Ayato has, he has the potential to be DPS. Based on the data, Ayato's skill is somewhat very hybrid of DPS and support. His EM skill scales with HP, and dealing with a lot of damage based on current max HP. And here is his buff. To explain it with Razor language, Ayato damage is getting bigger and reduce cooldown buff. In results, the cooldown for Ayato will be faster. The main stats of his signature weapon is crit rate, which is very good. And his new weapon also give elemental bonus damage and normal attack boost. However, when he is off-field, he will gain 5 stacks after stacks made with another character, which would make him the best off-field DPS. The problem is, this ignore his energy problem and probably occur with an R5 weapon. Many of you might think that Jade Cutter is definitely be a better choice, since he scales with HP as well. However, his HP scale is literally minimum. It's just a bonus and the not main focus. Personally, I don't think he mainly scales with HP. It's not something to build him around. Numerically, his burst HP scaling is 3% of his max HP and his elemental skills scaling is only 1.1%. Which is a low number. He will probably be good with ATK% percent and hydro damage or crit rate. I recommend you to build him around ATK. He would make 10 times more damage than mainly focusing on his HP. Thus, HP scaling of him is not a priority. It's great if you get some, but it's just like a cherry on top bonus. Nevertheless, I'm sure that both his signature weapon and Jade Cutter will be godly on him. Choose a weapon that suits your condition, 